Hey, Marcus here, Soren Sci-Fi Guy. A squad of stormtroopers versus a squad of U.S. Army soldiers. Who wins? Let's break down the components of each. A stormtrooper squad consists of nine soldiers, eight with semi-auto E-11 blaster rifles, two of those with SE-4 pistols as sidearms, and one heavy with a T-21 light repeating blaster. Each trooper carries about 5,000 rounds with them because blasters hold a lot of ammo. On the other hand, a squad of U.S. Army soldiers usually consists of nine soldiers. Their weapons consist of seven M4 assault rifles, two M320 underbarrel grenade launchers, and two M249 squad automatic weapons. So they're dead even about size, but what about that firepower? Stormtroopers have predominantly semi-auto weapons, so they would have a slower rate of fire. M4s are capable of burst fire, and they also have grenade launchers and two machine guns to the Stormtroopers one. The US military can put more fire down range, hands down. But they both wear different armor optimized for different things, so how would that react? Would the rounds be lethal? Stormtrooper armor is made up of a plastoid composite and doesn't really protect them too much from blasters. And given the scene in The Mandalorian where, uh, spoilers? Although I guess not really spoilers because the Book of Boba Fett, and you know they're coming out with these shirts. But anyway, Boba Fett's back and he has a Tusken Raider cycler rifle that fires around similar to modern sniper rifles. As for blasters against modern military armor, I'm going to go out of the box a little bit and pull from some sci-fi tabletop RPGs. In settings like Traveler, ceramics offer good protection from laser weapons because they disperse energy well. So while a shot from an N4 to any part of a Stormtrooper armor would go through, a blaster bolt to the chest, back, or side plates of modern military armor would likely not penetrate. But consecutive rounds to the same place would go through, and blasters are essentially one-shot stops to pretty much any part of the body, but their slower rate of fire really bites them here. So I'm going to give a point to the modern military. Now what about training? I've gone through modern military training complete with heavy weapons training and combat drills, and it's relatively intensive, but not really more than a once a month to once a year type of thing. And jokes about stormtrooper accuracy aside, many of them are either clones, trained from childhood, or recruited from the top of the Imperial Army. And then drilled daily. It doesn't really seem like it in the movies, but each stormtrooper really could be the equivalent of our modern special forces. So point to them. In addition, stormtroopers have an inbuilt communication system, and they have likely trained as a unit for years. Army soldiers probably have one radio between them, and while they likely all know each other, they don't have that level of intimacy. So right now it's kind of tied. Firepower versus training. Training is great, but I think that up until a certain point, if you don't really have the weapons to back that up, well, in the words of another Marcus, you don't have to be a better marksman, you just need to shoot more bullets. So I'd give the US Army at least 60 to 70 percent odds of winning. To me, this is a really interesting case of what was impressive sci-fi in the 70s, getting based on what's modern then, and then having half a decade of technological advancement.